sometimes I get a request from clients and on the drop down folder that you can have on Squarespace, they want it to be transparent. So they don't want it to be a block of color. They don't want it to be, uh, have any opacity changes. They literally just want it to be transparent. Now, I always personally advise against this because I don't think it looks great. And when I show you the example, you'll see why. But some people just want it. So if you're one of those people, first off, I'd say I'd advise against it. But if you still want it, I'm going to show you how to do it now. So you join me here on the site and you can see we've got a drop down. And it is a block of color. I think you can just make it out. I think it's more apparent here. So when we hover, you can see it's a red block of color. What we want to do, if you've gone against my uh, my advice, is go into Pages, go down to Website Tools, and then Custom CSS. And then we're going to paste this code in. So header, nav, folder content, and then the background color is just going to be transparent. And you can see why I advise against it, because it just looks a bit crap. But you do have it transparent, so no matter what the color is on whatever page, it's always going to be transparent. For instance, if I was to go into blog and we've now got a, a blue background, we hover over, you can see it's literally just transparent, nice and easy. If you did want to make it a block color, you could just stick in something like black that would change it, but then you'd have to change uh, the color of the nav items. Obviously you could do blue, you could do a hex code. So I don't know, FFF. Um, or you could do an RGB or whatever it is that you want. But regardless, that is how you do uh, transparent. Let's just quickly do that. And you can see, there we go. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.